brought to you by GTA. We start with you. On Friday afternoon, the public hearing room was filled with frustrated members from the swimming community who utilize the island's two public pools, all wanting answers as to why the pools have not been maintained. Parent and athlete Dr. Michelle Santos says that there is a level of trust that one has when submersing themselves into a public pool, and that trust was broken. A manager or leader is not expected to know everything, but it is incumbent upon that leader to have the right people in place or the right resources in place so that appropriate decisions can be made. And when a leader feels that they are too important to listen to others, or when a leader feels that a title makes them the expert, then we have a problem. So I'm sorry, but shame on you. Committee Chair Senator Kelly Marsh Titano called for the hearing after receiving complaints from parents whose kids got sick after swimming in the Haganya pool. Currently, both pools are closed, and there's no timeline in place as to when both will reopen. The almost three-hour oversight was filled with testimonials from children, parents, and coaches, but started with DPR Director Richard Ibanez. I'd like to apologize to everybody in here that uh, utilizes the pool, uh, Aganya and Dedido. Um, I, I, before I came on board, uh, I... Uh, those were the two goals that I mentioned on the media that I wanted to fix both pools. Senator Tello Taidegui questioned Abanez about why it was taking so long to procure parts. In procurement law, you're allowed to uh, uh, purchase things below 50000 without having to go to procurement. Is that still true to form with, you, with your department? Anything under $50,000? i am not, I'm not sure, Senator. You're, you, you're not even sure? And this is why it's taking so long for procurement, because you're not even insured of the procurement laws. You know, everybody's waiting for this vow. You don't know the answer, when it's going to come, or anything like that. And, and that's what everybody here is waiting for. Iban has explained what needs to be purchased and repaired for both pools to get them up and running, and offered a history of the pool's issues and what has led them to this particular point. The pool contractor, Canton Construction, did not attend the hearing. And many who testified, such as Guam so. Swimming Federation member and newly appointed DPR board member Chris Duenas and, and parent Andy Frank Flores, questioned the competency the of the contractor. I think the solution here as a board member is to change the contractor at hand and hold the contract to whoever comes on board accountable for their actions. A two-year contract at several thousand dollars a month and the pool is not in operation I think they owe us some money. I think they owe the people of Guam some answers. Poor leadership and a substandard contractor are to blame for the problems at our pool. Pool should be available 95% of the time, and every time it's open, it should be safe 100% of the time. Requesting the oversight be continued to allow for more discussion, Senator Regine Biscoli did want to ask why DPR allowed for one budget cycle to pass with no increase ever requested for DPR for more manpower and equipment and other needs. I really would like for a status of alternative facilities. Where can the stakeholders go today in the meantime while Aganya and Dedido are closed? What solutions are we going to have for the water aerobics folks, for our Manumku, for people with disabilities to use the pools in the weeks while you're implementing your plan? Right before recessing the hearing, Senator Bisco Lee had this to say. DPR will be held accountable for these standards, and if the department fails to meet these standards, I will call for your resignation, Mr. Ch Mr. Director. The hearing was continued for some time between February 25th through the 28th, when Ibanez will return from an off-island trip. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfris. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.